Hi, this is Emily, part of Art from the Heart, and today I'm playing along with Altenew's March Inspiration Challenge. I made two cards using the Build a Flower Sakura Blossom set. I also used the Thinking of You Sentiment set, as well as the Watercolor Stripe Stencil. First, I'm going to create an embossing paste background and set that aside to dry while I work on the stamping elements. I'm using pearlescent paste and I'm going to keep the top right hand corner open for stamping so all I have to do is avoid getting paste in that section. When applying the paste I try to keep it as thin as possible and always move in the direction of the stripe so the paste doesn't get under the stencil. I peel the stencil off right away and sprinkle some sparkle embossing powder on the embossing paste. I sprinkle it randomly because I only want a bit of sparkle. I didn't want all the stripes to be sparkly. Then I use my heat tool to set the embossing powder and set the panel aside so the paste can dry completely. Now I'm going to stamp the flowers from Build a Flower Sakura Blossom. I chose Dusk, Coral Berry, and Caramel Toffee as the colors represented in the inspiration photo. The pink and orange colors will be represented by the flowers and the blue by the leaves. I'm using Frosty Pink for the first layer of the pink flowers, and I just flip the panel to stamp it again on the other end to make it easy to mass produce the flowers in both colors. I use Buttercream for the first layer of the orange flowers. What I love most about these Sakura Blossoms is that the layers are so easy to line up. As indicated on the instructions provided in the guide, all you have to do is line up the corners or dips between the petals. I used Warm Sunshine for the second layer of orange and Coral Berry for the second layer of pink. For the third layer of pink I used Grapevine and for the third layer of orange I used Caramel Toffee. This last layer can be placed in any direction really. You can also use the stamen die that comes with the set. After the flowers are done, I stamp the leaves in blues to match the inspiration photo. The first layer is stamped in sea glass and the second in ocean waves. Since the leaves are only two layers, I decide to stamp additional leaves in the two darker colors to incorporate the darkest color, dusk, that matches the inspiration photo exactly. The leaves are also easy to stamp layer. The second layer lines up with the right edge of the large leaf and the left edge of the smaller leaf. I love the uniqueness of the blue leaves. Which ones do you prefer? the lighter or darker ones. I think I like the darker ones, but I thought having both would give more dimension to the cards. Another thing I love about this Build a Flower set is that the dies are so easy to line up. They cut just inside the stamped lines, leaving no white border. As long as you cover the stamping with the die, it's perfectly lined up. I hold the dies down with removable tape and run it through Altenew's Mini Blossom Die Cutting Machine. I showcased this set when it was released, but I didn't make a video for my projects at the time. Now you can see the beautifully dry embossed lines for folding the die cut blossoms into 3D flowers. I'm only going to show the die cutting for the first set of leaves and move on to the die cutting and folding of the flowers. The dies for the flowers are just as easy to line up. Just cover the stamped flowers with coordinating dies, hold them in place with removable tape and run them through the machine. Now all the flowers and leaves are ready to assemble. The embossing paste panel is now dry. Here's a closer look at the pearlescent paste and sparkle embossing powder. I'm going to stamp the Sympathy Sentiment from the Sakura Blossom stamp set in permanent black ink. Part of it will stamp on the embossing paste, but that's okay. It just means that I'll likely have to double stamp the sentiment, but the Misty makes it easy to do that. When placing the sentiment, I have to keep in mind that I want to add another line from the Thinking of You stamp set just above this sentiment. The scripted Thinking of You is stamped in dusk to match the blue in the inspiration photo. The flowers have dry embossed lines along the center of each petal and also between each petal. I create valleys in the petals and then peaks between the petals. By pushing down in the centers of the petals and then up from underneath between the petals, it's very easy to turn these flat die cuts into 3D flowers. The leaves have a dry embossed line straight down the center of the die cut, so I just have to fold the leaves in half lengthwise. 
Now that you've seen the real-time folding of the 3D flyers, let's fast forward through all of the folding. After arranging the flowers on the panel, I adhere all the pieces with glue dots. Now I can adhere the panel to the card base. I usually apply the adhesive to the back of the panel, but since I don't want to flatten the flowers, I apply it directly to the card base. For my second card, I arrange the flowers diagonally across the center of the panel and stamp two lines from the Thinking of You stamp set. Again, I'm using permanent black ink. Now it's time to adhere the flowers to the panel. The nice thing about using glue dots is that they make it easy to adjust or move the element if you didn't place it exactly where you wanted the first time. I want a black frame around the panel, so I adhere an A2 panel to the card base and then attach the panel to that. The centers of the flowers look a little bare without the stamen, and while I used those the first time I created with this stamp set, I'm going to embellish with enamel dots this time. If you don't have the correct colors of enamel dots, simply use white ones and color them with Copic markers. I'm selecting colors that coordinate with the flowers and now my card is done. I originally left the first card as is, but after looking at it again, I decided to add white glitter dots to the centers of those flowers to match the pearlescent embossing paste. I normally attach enamel dots directly without glue dots, but since these flowers aren't flat, I wanted to make sure the dots aren't going to pop off. Adding glue dots ensures that they'll stay on the flowers. I couldn't decide if I wanted to trim the flower petals that are hanging off the edges to make it easier to mail, so I left it. I may still trim them off, but for now, I'll leave it as is. Here's another look at both finished cards together. Be sure to play along with the Altenew Inspiration Challenge. It runs for the duration of the month and you can enter as many times as you like. Four lucky winners will receive a $30 gift certificate to the Altenew store. Please refer to the supply list below if you're interested in any of the products I use in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. Thanks so much for watching!